Let's look at the calculation of Mark numbers on the navigation computers. I'm going to illustrate this first of all on the APR CR6 navigation computer. The example we're going to look at is a calibrated airspeed of 320 knots flying at flight level 270. We're going to use the calibrated airspeed window. This looks virtually identical on the Jeppesen CR3. We need to match up the calibrated airspeed which is inside this white section and we're looking for 320 knots. We're going to match that calibrated airspeed up with the pressure altitude or the flight level. Now the flight level numbers we need to note are coming here in the yellow and are going in the opposite direction. So what I've done is matched up the 320 knots with the flight level 270. It is absolutely vital that you remember that the numbers are going in opposite directions otherwise you are going to get significant errors in this calculation. We now read the mark number above this little arrow in the mark number window. What we get in this situation is mark 0 0.79. By comparison if we look at this on the Jeppesen CR3 computer, the use of the calibrated airspeed and the flight levels is identical, but instead of the mark number being on the window on the outside, we read the mark number above this tiny little arrow here. We get the same answer, 0.79. This is one of the major reasons why I prefer the APR navigation computer over the CR3. The mark numbers are much more accurately identified on the APR calculator compared to the Jeppesen. Here are some exercises for you to try. Just remember, be very careful because although the calibrated airspeed numbers go clockwise, the flight levels go anti-clockwise. You'll probably want to pause the video as you calculate each answer. Here's the answer to question one. We can also work backwards. For example, we started with a flight level and a calibrated airspeed. We simply work backwards. If we're given the mark number and the calibrated airspeed, we can then read off the flight level. Or, knowing the mark number and the flight level, we can read off the calibrated airspeed. Have a go at the following exercises.